Welcome again to another technology program. Today I'm going to go ahead and make the plastic formers to support the primary coil in my larger Tesla coil. Here are some of the tools that we'll be using today. I'm going to need to use a drill to make holes in our uh, plastic support material. I swear to make nice even lines a ruler, a 1 8 inch drill bit for the pilot holes, and a 1 quarter inch drill bit for the actual holes. We're going to put 1 quarter inch copper tubing as the primary coil. Okay, so what we want to start with is uh, to see how much material we have. Here we have a, almost 3 inches high, and the width we have is about 11, oh, about 11 six eighths. So what, what we want to do is to have one quarter inch holes that are the same diameter as the pipe spaced one quarter inch apart throughout. We can go ahead and use this one block to make four supports. And the way we're going to do that is to first find the, the, the midline and we're going to uh, cut this piece in half and then drill our holes and cut each one of those pieces in half then we'll have four supports you can see how rough this came out that's why this, I did the practice run first and then you can just lay the copper pipe for the primary right into each one of those nice little notches so you know what they say measure twice and cut once so first going to do is divide it into the two main segments here square yes and does that line up down here yes that, that is on the same kind of eyeball in here that looks pretty darn close and if I continue this is a fairly straight edge as well. Yeah, so I'm going to start marking the line here. There we go. And there we go. We have a main line which we use to cut this piece in half. But we don't need to do any of this lo these long cuts until after our quarter inch holes are drilled. Next, we want to find the midline between each one of these uh, halves. There we go. Now we got our board marked into four even parts. Each one is about three quarters inch across, as you see here. These are each represent our four main strips of contacts that we're going to, uh, to run. Now what we want to do is make a uh, quarter inch marks in from each uh, center. For example, we're going to want to have a first hole right about a quarter inch in from here, another quarter inch of space, another quarter inch hole all along the whole length of the board. So let's go ahead and measure that out. Make sure ruler's nice and flush along the edge here. It's a metal ruler, so it is pretty much square. It doesn't have to be real exact. The more exact it is, the more accurate measurements are. But this is a device that they were making over a hundred years ago that we are recreating today. Now it's 
about this here is that I have one line, every other line along here just needs to be parallel with it. So I can do that a little faster by using my square. You see, everything, this is a nice straight edge along the top here, and everything will just square on up. See, this line, yeah, the match is up there, just make another down here. And a long back, so forth. Just like that. And so on down the line. Okay, so now what we get here is we get all of our holes all lined out. So we're going to start with the first hole here. Leave that there as a spacing another hole here so it's going to be a one quarter inch diameter here to there and then leave a quarter inch spacing here to there each little place where the lines meet is going to be the center of a uh, drill hole every other one and so forth down the line above and below now this is our quarter inch drill bit but when we're drill drilling through something with you know a fair thickness like that, about the size of a cutting board, I would guess. I want to go ahead and use a pilot hole first of our main hole. So let's go ahead and make those pilot holes first. Okay. I also put a scrap piece of wood underneath while I'm drilling so that I hit the scrap wood and not my workbench. Alright, it's times like this I wish I owned a drill press because it'll make it a whole lot easier to drill straight lines on through. So you got my torque set to about uh, 10 there, just, uh, you know, decent speed. And let's start making our pilot hole. left over after a hole and we get a nice clean hole clear on through okay now I get the first three quarter inch holes drilled in here and you see that the diameter of each hole is equal to the spacing between them just about there so I'm gonna do that all the way down the line and I found that what I needed to do was instead of the uh, eighth inch uh, drill bit which is uh, too small uh, for a pilot hole that what I needed to do was use a uh, I found that a 532nd inch bit this one here worked uh, just a lot better you know it, it gave the quarter inch drill bit here uh, a little bit more to bite down on when making these holes so uh, it's a lot of drilling you can see how they're not quite up and down even and it's a good thing that I'm using this uh, backboard here because yeah it goes all the way through there's some of the pieces that spirals up around the drill bit so this is where a drill press and a nice level line make me make even holes but uh, it, I gotta do what I can with what I have all right let's drill some holes Okay, we got all of our pilot holes drilled all the way through, all the way down. You see, this is a piece of that quarter inch pipe that's what we're going to be using for the actual secondary coil. So you can see way down here, that quarter inch pipe just fits right inside that quarter inch hole. Larger drill bits quarter inch bit and widen out all these holes to the proper length give it a good wash and then do our long line cuts okay so we've see these last three uh, 
five thirty seconds holes for you guys here. There's just over a quarter inch. So I'm working that on it. Do one of these. Just going straight through. Just like that. It just jumps right through. I got the torque set that high to 16. The glass. That is all of my quarter inch holes all drilled out and the whole entire run of this thing. You're going to have about this much leftover stuff, so have a wastebasket nearby. Okay, now to make the long straight cuts. First we'll cut the piece in half down here. Then we'll take each one of those pieces and cut them half here and up along here. So we'll have little uh, half circle shapes to pop our copper coil down into. Okay, I got this thing rigged up here to cut. I got it clamped down to the bench. And to get this line here, I'm going to use, well, most of the thing I got is this multi vibrational tool. There, it's a Chicago Electric, uh, you know them folks. Harbor Freight Cheap Tools I'm not going to use it that often so what I ought to do for getting this cut through here the trick is to stay on the line here So much for that clamp eh? The other one's holding pretty good there Alright then it's took like Canadian time, don't you know? Yeah, okay. That piece... It gets mighty hot real fast. Do you like to burn yourself in plastic? You can do it then. But I got something better in those clamps there. Okay, well, we got our two pieces apart here. And next, what I'm doing is I'm starting to cut down through the middle. See, it beads up as the plastic melts from the multi vibrational tool. We'll just clean that up as we get down along. And as you see, we maybe didn't get exactly in half for every piece. But we can clean up what we need to with the drill. Plus, we'll use zip ties to hold everything down once we eventually mount this thing. Here's what I'm doing for uh, cutting the bits here. You probably won't want to use a good vise if you got one handy, but if you don't, this is a really bad idea, but um, Starts vibrating like that, it's usually a bad sound. Time to flip it around and do the rest. This side will need to cool down though, so that gets hot from all of that. So, cool.
all four pieces of what our coil will lay down in. As you see there, there you go. These are just some extra bits here on the plastic, so I'll only clean those up. But uh, yeah, that's basically I make the sports.